What's up everyone, Ryan here, and today I'm starting a full playthrough series for The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered on the PS5. So this will be my first time experiencing The Last of Us Part 2, and I am so excited for this series. So just yesterday, I wrapped up my full playthrough series, the first time ever experiencing The Last of Us Part 1, and that game was truly a masterpiece. I loved every second of that game, and I'm so fired up to dive into The Last of Us Part 2 today. Thank you all so much for all the support on the Part 1 series on the channel. Stay tuned, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the Part 2 episodes. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. And I'm going to try to post episodes as often as I can for this series. I know with part one, I uploaded every single day. That's going to be tough to do for part two, but I'm going to upload as often as I can. My goal is about three to four times a week. So I will put a link down in the description for you all for the full Last of Us Part 2 playthrough series because it could be whenever you're watching this video, maybe the full series is already live. It is time for my first ever playthrough of The Last of Us Part 2 playing the remastered version that just came out today, January 19th, 2024 on the PS5. Let's go ahead and dive on in. So I'm going to be playing the game on the same difficulty that we just played The Last of Us Part 1 on, which was moderate. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. She go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity to mean something. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the firefly. Because of her, they were actually gonna make a cure. The only catch. It would kill her. Sweet Jesus. Doctor! What are you doing? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Jesus Christ, Joel. What do you do? I saved her. That's a lot. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. I 
and she believed you? I didn't say otherwise. We should head back. That recap already brought back a lot of emotions to me. This game, the first game brought many tears to my eyes and I know this game is going to as well. What a beautiful video game. The last one was beautiful. This one is as well. So it seems like that was the first time he's telling the story to his brother. Now, I did not see... I don't know the time period. I don't know how far we into the, how far we are into the future. I didn't notice a date or anything like that. Keep in mind, just like part one, on you know, these playthroughs, I may not talk very much at certain times. Provide commentary when I need to, but... Want us to experience this game together. Some of you for the first time. Me for the first time. Some of you will be experienced for the first time. Some of you will be watching it again. You might have already played it. Might have already watched it. Look how beautiful. But it was so cool to see many of you be like, it's so cool to watch somebody play this game for the first time after all these, after all these years for part one. Part 2 came out in 2020, I believe. Wow. This is gorgeous. Like... This game studio never ceases to amaze me there's so many wow moments in the in the first game and look where it starts us you talk about a wow moment Wow, so it looks like they have a whole town now. Come on. It's okay. I got him. You go on. You sure? Yeah. 
about what we were talking about earlier. I can't say I'd have done different. I'll take it to the grave if I have to. I'll see you later. Hello? Ellie? Gave me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but. Hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are, you know, talking about how impressed they are with you and how well you're. Helping out. It's good. Yeah. Tommy and I went out riding the other day, and he, uh, <laughs> he told me a joke, and I, I thought about you. It's, um, oh, shoot, now I forgot it. Uh, something about a clock. How do you? Joel, it's, uh, it's pretty late, and I gotta, get up in a few hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I'm, I'm gonna get out of your hair. I just, um... I, I want to show you something. Just give me one second. What's this? Well, some folks call this thing here a guitar. Funny. You want to hear something? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Promise me that you won't laugh. I won't laugh. I won't. I'm trusting you. We actually get to play the guitar here. That's cool. But you can tell that, you know, I don't, this is, seems to be shortly after what happened in the last game. Ellie looks the same age, maybe a little bit older. Maybe she was 14 in the last game, maybe 15. Uh, but you can tell that their relationship, they've kind of drifted apart a little bit. You can tell Ellie knows that Joel, of course, kept something from her, right? Ellie knows that. She's such a smart kid. So... Let's play the guitar.
try and sometimes you'll succeed to make this man of me. All my stolen missing parts, I have no need for anymore. Yes, I believe, and I believe, cause I can see our future days, days of you. There you go. Well, that didn't suck. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. She's yours. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. You did. So what do you say, tomorrow night, first lesson? Deal. Okay. Okay. Did... Do you remember the joke? What is the downside to eating a clock? It's time consuming. That's so dumb. <laughs> yeah. Good night, kiddo. Morning. Sorry, I totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. I heard you had quite a night after I left. I... She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. She didn't mean anything by it. I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. You kissed Dina? Oh. I thought this... We're broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? probably just trying to make you jealous. I didn't, I would never, oh, fuck, this is awkward. I'm messing with you, man. I don't care. Get dressed. You're the worst. Mm. It's kind of fucked up you did that. <sighs> Get your stuff together, we're already late. <laughs> <laughs> mm, smells fine. Oh my. I love Ellie. I'm telling you, she's one of the most likable characters in a video game I've ever played. Like, she is so awesome. <laughs> so, four years later. That skipped a lot. Wow. I'm sure it's going to tell us information, but this looks like the same. It looks like we're in the same town, right? Because you still have the Savage, Starlight. This is the same desk. Uh, so, it, this seems to be the same exact place. And we have the Qatar. She stayed. She didn't leave. And it seems like she's been journaling because it showed the journal earlier as well. 
sure. You know, Ellie learned the, learned the importance when somebody says you got a little wild the other night or you got carried away. You got to you got to make sure you ask them very specifically like what what do you mean by that? What what do you mean by wild? Can you can you be very specific? She forgot to ask that question. <laughs> she forgot to ask one of the most important questions after that question. Just want to see if there's anything else to see or interact. Looks like she has. Are those pictures of? Yeah, it looks like that's Ellie and Jesse who we just met there, and then somebody else in the front, the top left. So it seems like different pictures. And it looks like she's been drawing pictures as well. That's actually very good drawing. Look at the one at the bottom right. Very cool. And look, the wasn't that the wait, wasn't this the action figure that she gave? This was the action figure that she gave the little kid. And remember he wouldn't take it? That is she still has it. She still kept it. She still actually kept it. She has some books. I'm just gonna see if there's any other Easter eggs here that she kept. Do you all notice anything that I'm missing here? Any other Easter eggs? That she actually kept. So you can tell she kept all the um, comic books, right? So cool. Hey, is Joel up? We got reports of infected out north. You sent him and Tommy out early to scout. Huh. That sucks. Yeah. Can't imagine they got much sleep. Definitely not as much as you. Shut up. I was just about to get up. Mm -hmm. I was. You got everything? Yes. I like how it has in the subtitles, I like how it has the character's name in a different color, and each character has been a different color. That's really cool. Heads up, you're the talk of the town this morning. <sighs> what? Let me see if I got this right. You kissed Dina. <sighs> she kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not so nice word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. More of a push. And then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night, man. Sounds exciting. Sorry I missed it. <laughs> so she did have a wild night. I thought it was setting up that last conversation with the guitar. I thought they were setting up that Joel was going to die. Thank you for not doing that game. I can't handle that. Any of these two characters. Safe out there. We always are. I really can't handle it. Maria wants a word with you. Where is she? It's a diner. Is this about <laughs> Seth? No clue. I had to carry her. Just tell her you never saw me. Nope. Where's your fucking loyalty? Excuse me? They built a great town here. Hey, so we're okay, right? You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. I know. It's just I don't want you to think. Ellie, we're cool. Promise. Thanks. This place is awesome. Like they have a full town settlement. Can you pet the dog? Hey, what time? Right? Yeah, get a good scratch. Yes. Can we play the banjo? Shit, that smells 
good. Will be enough? Hey, Jesse. Are they whispering about us? Want to grab some breakfast? No. Where's Maria? In the back. Excuse me. Ellie. There you are. Come here. Seth's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me. Please. Seth. Seth, come here. Fuck me. Hey. Uh, look, last night I was, uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Maria tells me that you and Dean are headed out. Made you some sandwiches. Okay. Your steak. Thank you, Seth. Yeah. Well, uh, you be safe out there. Yep. I appreciate that. What you got there? Bigot sandwiches. Mm. Smells good. They're yours. You sure? It's fine. Let me walk you out. Okay. Winter menu. When you go out, I want you to trade off with Tommy and Joel. Those boys have been up for far too long. Where do I meet them? If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, they're scheduled to arrive later today. But watch yourself. I mean, there's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. I was gonna check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails? Not really. Dean has done it a bunch. I'll have the two of them take it. Well, that solves that. So that scroll was, I think, placed there uh, for you to see and kind of go walk towards its way. It went under here and you get loot. Very cool. So Ellie would be 19 now, right? 18 or 19? She, Because she was 14 when the game started, the last game. And it went through a lot of time. She likely was 15 at the beginning cutscene. Now we're four years later. She's likely, or she might have been 16. She's either 19, eight, between 18 and 20 right now. The detail in the like the graphics, this town. Ellie, can I talk to you for a sec? What's up? Look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. <sighs> Maria. Guy really cares about you. And I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry to pry. Be safe. Thanks. Yo, Dina, assignments. <clears throat> Just give me a minute. Can we get your girlfriend to the stables, please. Oh, God. Hey, Dina. Can I talk to you? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm tapping out. Come on. How long? Hey, hey. Um, I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's, it's okay. I totally get it. I, <laughs> I just, I felt bad. Why? Because I, 
started the whole thing, and... I just, I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people, and... No, you were drunk, it's fine. Well, still, I just, I don't want you to think... No, I'm not reading into it or anything, just... You know what I love about you? How you let me finish my sentences. All right. Well, we should probably get going. Yeah. Ow! What the fuck? I'm not even playing! Because you're a chicken? You're a chicken! <laughs> I hate this kid so much. You want to fuck him up? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> Get around, you little shit. Holy <laughs> shit. Get to cover. Go, go. <laughs> I love Ellie uh, so gotcha. much. We're on the board, suckers. <laughs> uh, eat that. Uh, fuck yeah. No, no, no. I, I mean, oh. Don't tell oh, your mom. Oh, you like that? <laughs> Boo. Eat snow, you little shit. <laughs> Ow. I'm coming for you, tiny. Hold on that kid. <laughs> yeah, that kid has a cannon. <laughs> In your face! <laughs> See you! Eat snow! I'm gonna come over there and fight you, like, for real! <laughs> oh, what a shot! Where are you? Come on! Oh no, you got snow in your hair! Right up close and personal! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a snowball fight! <laughs> How's it feel? <laughs> no! Get her! Help me! You'll never get away with this! Get off of her, you monsters! All right, all right, we actually have some work to do. Scram. Man. I guess I asked for that, huh? Yep. Let's go. <laughs> that was so awesome. So, Jesse wants us to do the creek trails. He's gonna relieve Joel and Tommy. Oh, that's nice you assigned us together. You're gonna like this route. Morning, girls. Morning. In each episode, we'll probably be... Hey, ladies. I'll bring them in. ...between one Thank and you. two hours long. Uh, so it depends on, you know, I, I want to wait for a good stopping point. Sometimes it's one hour, sometimes it's two hours, three hours in some playthroughs of mine. But typically it's between one and two. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Thanks. Come on. All right. Hey, Shimmer. Oh, look who decided to join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One for you. And one for you. Open it up. Settle down, children. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your log books, clear any infected you see. You run into anything you can't handle, you come back. Be smart about it. All right. Get going.
What were you dreaming about? Was I talking? You're doing your teeth grinding thing. Where have you been? Grab your gear. I want to show you something. What? Trust me. Come on. This way. Okay, I have no clue who this person is, but she is ripped. It's cold. You sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. They're definitely introducing us to an another main character, I would assume. And I feel like she would be unstoppable. I don't think anybody's messing with her. She is a beast. What are you doing wandering around out here by yourself? Been restless. You too. I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. You want to keep going? And just drive all the way to Mexico? I've thought about it. You could see Manny's hometown. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that living up to his story somehow. Yeah, no, probably not. You did all this in the dark? Yes. Now, come on. How beautiful the snow is, like the tracks walking through it. The glistening of the snow. This game is gorgeous. We keep going like this. We're going to be tired for today's trip. It's not that far. Hey, is Mel okay? She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird. You're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. Careful jumping wow. over these. Look at that backdrop. Are you breaking up with Mel? What? No. You wish. Uh, I've had my fill. Thank you. <coughs> Ouch. I can't all be as graceful as you. Clearly. What is that? You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. There ain't no way. Shit. Hey. Eyes on me. Abby. Stop looking down. Hey, we learned her name. Do we have to go back this way? Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Abby, stop flirting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already, I'm already starting to like this character. Is it? We made it. Holy shit. It's a fucking city. Yeah. Have you told anyone else? Wanted you to see it first. 
Saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost over there. A few more outposts in between. They have electricity, guns. It's a lot of people. We can figure it out. Okay. Assuming he's in there, how do we get to him? We can corner one of the patrols and get confirmation, and then, I don't know, maybe find a way to lure him out. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information up. Well, then we make them. Do you hear yourself? Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? Mel's pregnant. Oh. Okay. It's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? When everyone else sees this, they're gonna want to turn back. We can convince them, right? I knew I couldn't count on you. Happy. I want what you want. But not at any cost. Hey. Don't! See you back at the lodge. Okay, so these are definitely. Remember, okay. I said I liked them. I'll do the whole thing on my own. I take that back. So they are going after the town. It sounds like they're going after Joel. So I would assume this is the Fireflies. After what Joel did to Marlene, their leader, I, they don't seem like hunters. I would not think they're hunters at all. I would assume that these are probably introducing the new. Seems as the new bad guys. But you're playing as them. So she, she's just going in by herself. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> I mean, she seems like she is a beast, but can't take down a whole town herself. <laughs> graphics, you know, you'll hear me say that a lot in this playthrough, but graphics on the first one, we're on another level, and it just continues in this game. The voice acting, story, the writing of the first one, continuing this one. They're, they're on another level. They they know what they're doing. Naughty Dog is just it's so impressive. Might be loot down. This is even the main character. I don't need to loot. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry for loot already. Oh, whoops. A gun? Does she even have a gun? Like what? Look out! It's just a short hike. Oh, you can actually go prone this time. I love that. Okay, that is awesome. Look at the snow deformation. The attention to detail in their physics engine and just all the the particles. So impressive. He got Mel pregnant. Shit. You alive?
Trying to get a feel for the sensitivity. You can dodge. <laughs> That's okay. That's what was lacking. You know, I said this in playthrough in my playthrough of part one, how this game needs a dodge, and we actually have it. That's sick. Yeah, come at me. Okay. Yes. Full melee playthrough. With this character, you probably could. <laughs> I don't really like to root for her right now. I know I you know it's not fair to it's not fair to say she's bad yet. Even though it does seem like she's hunting Joel. Uh but Okay, this makes melee actually fun. That's the thing in the first game, melee just felt My like shoulder. pretty sluggish. <laughs> she hurt her shoulder, yeah, I bet so. Just put the beat down on the zombies. I need to get a view. Melee, that's awesome. That's a game changer. Already ahead of you, game. It's the beauty of just playing the first one right before that. It was I chose perfect timing to start the part one playthrough that I was able to finish it the day before this game came live. We'll finish the downloadable content, but just closed up that playthrough. Like we can go underneath there. Before we do that. How do I get out of here? Uh, you know, I, I there is no way that they're doing all this for this character to, to be the bad guy. I just don't think they would do that. I think that this is gonna be another one of the mains. I could be wrong. But I just don't see them doing that. Got an itchy trigger finger. Where's that lookout? Even the, this game is so realistic. Everything. 
The same thing was the first game. Like, the, the attention to detail in everything. It, just the snow deformation, the particles. Every single thing. Crouch to sneak up. Rab. Okay. I want to fight again. <laughs> well, she's just too strong. <laughs> I was trying to start a fight and she just hits him with the haymaker. Oh my, you talk about a right hook. What a shot. Told you I had an itchy trigger finger. Oh, we're full. Okay. Uh, to be fair, that town and settlement and Joel, if that's who she's after, has a lot to be worried about because Abby is kind of insane. In like, I mean insane in a good way. Like she's, <laughs> she's just ruthless and seems kind of unstoppable. Like, Joe wouldn't stand a chance in a fight. Neither would Ellie. I, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. That's one of my favorite things that they've added to the game. The new melee, like the animations for for Abby here, but being able to dodge, it's so sick. The road. Wow, I love this video game already. Hey, she better be a main character. Better not be bad. That is relative, though, in this in the first game.
Where's the patrol? Come on. This way. Right behind you. Do you miss being with him? With Jesse? <laughs> no. We've been together for so long. Look, Jesse's great. I love his parents. They will always be family, but we were just on autopilot. Hey, how come we never talked about this stuff? I don't know. It didn't feel... You never really talked to me about Kat. Yeah, because... There isn't much to talk about. Yow. I just... I, I got the impression that you didn't really like her. I don't care about her one way or the other. <laughs> okay. No, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours. That's so big of you. And I think she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. So it seems like Ellie had a girlfriend. So I, I wonder if that, it seems like these you can tie characters have known each other for these last four years. have been close, being part of this town. Uh, so it seems like Ellie had a girlfriend. We don't know anything about how long that lasted. But it seems like they're setting up Dina and Ellie. Which Dina seems awesome. And the little we know about her. Hey. You want to see something spectacular? You're going to point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> Nothing is that spectacular. <laughs> oh, brother. Come on, Stephen. <laughs> oh, I, I love these characters. Already. I still think Ellie, after that first game and just the beginning of this, I mean, Ellie's one of my all-time favorite characters in the game. She's just so awesome. Such a likable character. Hey, it's this way. One thing... That would be cool about the listening mode. Even I know it's listening, but if you could somehow hear loot, that would kind of break some of the realism, right? But you can hit the button and see it all. No, I don't think I would like that now thinking about it. I take that back. Just look at this. Now you think of this view, huh? Yeah, this route has its perks. Where do we sign in? <laughs> Come on. Fuck. You can sit here and take it all in for a little bit. But you know, to think about, you know, the beginning Joe telling his brother for the first time, you know, if we go back to that, I am not mad at Joe for the decisions he made. Hey, he wasn't going to lose another daughter. He was not. He, those fireflies were blinded. Marlene, she had one go. They did not know for sure that that was even going to work, that they could find a cure for that. They, they just rushed right into it. They didn't even ask Ellie. The fact that they thought they were in the right makes no sense to me. So, Joel, I'm not upset with him for the decisions he made at all. What I'm upset with Joel for lying to Ellie. 
I see why he did it, because he knows she would have went back. But Joel should not have lied to Ellie. Like that that's just that that still hurts me. That's the only reason I'm mad at Joel. I'm not mad about the decisions he made at all. I'm mad about when he lied to her. Because that's gonna come back. We already know. I mean I know it. It's gonna happen. It's got to. But speaking of the attention to detail, you see how her hands were just on there? Her head, the Dina's hands too. And there's no snow there. That's so cool. So journal. Oh, so, so you can write journal entries. That's cool. Dina asked if I was going to go to the dance and she touched my arm. Arg, I'm so delusional. Don't be an idiot. She's like that with everybody. Oh, so is she journaling from the last... Okay, so she's that's showing the last few journals, right? Tonight was crazy. I feel scared. Elated. She's scared, elated, anxious. Just got, got to sleep it off. We lost the ground to snow. Step on the ice. That's my... Working on poetry, maybe? That can't be the entry for today. That's an entry for the day before, right? And she just wrote it in. I think she just added that bottom entry. Okay, we lost the ground to snow. Step on the ice. Test my thought. Working on poetry. Very cool. Who do you used to do this route with? Jesse? Me, Jean. Right. Ah, oh, Eugene. Oh, man, he was funny. Oh, yeah. Jesse seems like such a fun character as well. He seems like he, he's going to be a really good one. Plus, he taught me about rewiring electronics and stuff. May we all be that sharp at 73. May we all make it to 73. Sign us in. What was this place? Uh, it used to be a radio tower. Sign us in? Like the log? They were talking about the log book? Probably. I'm gonna guess this bong was Eugene's. Huh? It's mine. He gave it to me. Hey, do you have any on you, actually? Oh, I wish. Eugene always had some on him. Oh, here's the log. Me too. So March second. Come here. Town up ahead's our last stop. Take a look. There's the town, with the big tower thing. Yep, that's where the next lookout is. At a supermarket? Yeah. We'll pass that on our way into town. Seems like we're going on a, a looting run. Ah, uh, there's a ski lodge. That's the one on Tommy and Joel's route. That's the one. You think am I supposed to see something else? I can else? see a storm. Gonna have some good sledding tomorrow. Mm-hmm. 
think that's everything. Let's get back to the horses. You know something's gonna happen. So the last game was so emotional. As as you thought things were going good, something happens, and that that's it's already in, already anticipating Question. something. Were you wearing those same clothes yesterday? They're clean. <laughs> no judgment. It's patrol, you know. We're here to kill infected, not to look fancy. Still look nice. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Very reluctant. Thank you. Like Eugene. From a stroke? No. From old age. Like living a long life. You? No way. Come on. You're way too reckless. Oh, look who's talking. Well, you'll probably die from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow. I am wearing boots today. You know how you're gonna die? No, let me guess. You're gonna kill me? <laughs> Maybe. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, should we check these houses out? Seems quiet, but we can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. Always. I love these two. I love these two characters together already. They they are awesome. <laughs> what do you know about this place? Another evacuated neighborhood. Infected almost never make it out this far. We usually catch them on the outer perimeter. <gasps> These trailers are neat. Nice little portable home. Okay, so yeah, the, so the menu looks exactly really the same. Traveled a lot in these things. Well, wouldn't you? I mean, if I'd lived pre-outbreak, yeah, I'd go see the whole country. Or travel to another country. Maybe one day we will. <laughs> Keep dreaming. You can be faster while listening. That's awesome. So Jesse there's survival. Jesse a lot about going to Canada. He said there's these like giant waterfalls out there he wanted to see. Really? He's such a hardcore Jackson guy. Everybody's got their dream. Okay, this is really cool. Listen mode movement speed two upgrade. You get a hundred percent movement, so you get normal speed while listening. That is awesome with my aggressive playstyle. You know, you all, if you watch my first playthrough, you know I'm not into I'm not into stealth very much. I'll do it when I need to, but for the most part, I go guns blazing. So that's a perfect for me to be able to listen and see as I'm moving full speed. Craft all items twice as quickly, and then we have a we can upgrade it as well. Find training manuals to unlock new upgrade branches. What are you doing tonight? Uh, I was thinking of inviting Joel to watch a movie. Oh, you guys good? Yeah. What movie are you guys gonna watch? What's Joel into? Uh, Curtis and Viper 2. That's the one that's been on my radar for a while. Oh, wow. Well, we used to watch these cheesy 80s action movies. He's really into them. Oh no. I actually really like them too. What about you? What are you doing later? Some people were talking about sneaking out. Going sledding. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah. You wanna meet up after? Uh, okay. 
Maybe I'll play guitar for you. Okay. You can you can tell the relationship is building. Seem like just she just, Dina seems like a great character too. Her and Joel are gonna have a movie night. Love that. What is this? Oh, I, I saw a card. Ooh, I don't have this one. So the, we is saw those. One of those superhero cards you're all into? Oh yeah. Brains 80, Brawn 60. Affiliation Society of Champions. Appearing one day from out of the blue, no one knows where or when this mysterious trans-dimensional being came from. Their ability to move in and around four-dimensional space at will has turned the tide in many battles, though using this power leaves them as weak as a newborn. Claiming to have no name, they were bestowed the nickname Tesseractor by the Society of Champions. However, some suspect Tesseractor is keeping their true undiscovered identity a secret. Seems their neutral affiliation. That's cool. So we actually get information about more of that comic book that you learned about in the first game. What's Curtis and Viper 2 about? Okay, so two former commandos that go rogue to fight bad guys. And I think in this one, they go up against Russian spies or something. I'm more interested in this than I thought I would be. All right, so the young one, Viper, he's a trained ninja. And he's a complete badass. So how old is he in the first movie? Uh, 10. I think this is another house you can loot, I think. Maybe not. They just do a great job with this game, with the storytelling, the lore building, Honestly, everything on this game is just on it. You know, on the I say this game we just started. I mean, on this series, you know, the first game and continuing into this game, into this first hour, like their detail is second to none. Like it, it's insane. It's fantastic. Fuck. The temperature dropped. I think you're right. <laughs> if you can get in here just wanted to try Take to bring down a moose. More than one. Where the hell are they? Let's go find them. Here's some inside. How the fuck did they get in there? Dina, this way. Yeah, I thought they were close. Runner. Runner were fine to go right up against. It's the clickers you really gotta watch out for. <laughs> Doors can be can usually be open from the other side. Shit. 
So that's one thing. You I'm, yeah. I'm glad they showed at the beginning of this nice game. Throw, by the way. Thanks. Because you could do that in the last game. I just don't remember. Came in was barricaded. Ever learning I that? Better get in here. Yeah, it's a good question. It was you all. What's the, the gamer ability community? They were taken down on patrol. That taught me that. It's gotta be the one I had with Joel a year or so ago. It was like I don't know, a dozen. You? Cleared about twenty once. There was a group passing through. Fuck. Maybe we'll get you a new personal record today. I wouldn't mind to go chase some personal records. But yeah, so I didn't learn that until in the in the DLC left behind, I finally started doing that more. Actually throwing them and then getting you can get a melee elimination. Something that I did not do. Dina, up. This way. More runners. But I like that it showed you right at the beginning of this game. Maybe it showed it in the last game and I just completely blanked. I love the melee. That's why I went in for that. I actually, I was just going to grab these bottles. I actually didn't see another one, but I, I like the new melee so much. I, I did miss one dodge there. That all of them? But that was awesome. Yeah. Looks like it. We still got to get the ones in the supermarket. Let's keep circling the building. There's got to be a way in. That was such a great change that they did to add a dodge. It makes melee actually fun. Ellie, help me up there. I want to look around. over there here thanks look see all right let's figure out how to get in there this is, might be a longer first episode we all haven't right. really got to a good stopping point yet I can't stop it right now. It just wouldn't make any sense. Ellie, are you clean? Yeah. Just banged up. Please die of old age and not because you get infected. I really don't want to have to shoot you in the face. <laughs> Deal. Cool. <laughs> Nothing better happened. You know, I could see this game introducing us to Dina. You know, you really like her, and then just hits you right in the em in the emotions. Nothing better happened to Dina already. It is something that they would do. Actually, yeah. Nice. 
I wonder if we can climb this. We know I don't think we can hop that fence. Can't get through that door. Go this way, I think. Yep. Okay. We gotta make that jump. This way. We're almost dead. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Just casually walking through. Look at the bottom right. We have no health either. I'm in. Me too. Should we check for supplies? I would say we should always check for supplies, but we need some crafting materials for a med kit. Hey, got some alcohol. A couple of rags. Here, fix yourself up. Perfect timing. Like the game knew we would need that, right? Geniuses. I see spores in there. Masks on. Got it. Wait. So I guess she's trying to keep it from people. People don't know about her. They don't know that she's immune. Remember, I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, that's so sweet. All these spores mean they've been here for a while. Keep your eyes peeled for older infected. Yep. Is this part of the supermarket? I don't know. I think we're above it. Let's get to the ground floor. Combo is the date. My good boy got employee of the month. How? Okay. Employee of the month. So we need to find an employee of the month on the wall and find out what date it is. And we got the code, right? Oh, is it on the calendar? The month. If we find an employee of the month something, we can find the code to the safe. We actually never opened any of the safes in The Last of Us Part 1. I never could figure out how to do it. I know you can hear a sound at the difference. Some people are really good at picking that up. And I... You can vaguely... There it was. Okay. Wait, I did actually hear it. Uh, that was much louder. We might. Let's just do it ourselves. We don't need the code. So, how do you reset a, um, reset it? Ah. But thir it's going to be 35 around first. See, then we didn't hear it that time. But we heard something. I hear it every time now. Maybe that's just because I'm moving it so fast. Yeah, I don't hear it. You know, somebody left a comment saying you can hear the sound. And I actually went back and listened to it. And I did hear it in my playthrough of part one. I don't know, I, I guess when I'm actually playing it, I don't hear anything. I really don't. I don't know what it is, I, I hear nothing. So if we could find an employee of the month date, it'd be extremely handy. Maybe it's out here. If 
not, I'm really not too worried about it. Considering it never affected our first playthrough at all. But I would really like to find it. Okay, what do we need to upgrow, upgrade? We only have 25. We don't really need to upgrade anything yet. Ooh, melee upgrades. Oh, melee weapon. Of the month. It. No, that's a health code. All the compliance stuff. You put so much deep though in. Like the employee rights stuff. First aid. I bet we, we're gonna skip right over. Oh, wait! Okay, right in front of us. Uh, wait, which one? There's tons of them. What? Oh, it's gone? Er, we probably have it. Yeah, there we go. Kristen. Combo is the date, my good boy. Got employee of the month. A good boy. I could be anybody. <laughs> okay, their name is Good Boy. Gotcha. It's Good Boy. Again, they don't have dates though. It's like it just gives the month and the year. Okay, so I guess we need to try all the men, right? Good boy. Who looks like a good boy? <laughs> Let's just go with the first one. February 2013. 02. Me. You all are gonna be so proud if I actually get this. Nope. June thirteen. So oh six. Oh, the dog. <laughs> okay. The dog, obviously. Good boy. I didn't even see that dog. Wow, I'd be a terrible detective. I'd be the worst detective ever. <laughs> July 2013. <laughs> oh, my. Some of you are probably like, Ryan, are you kidding me? It's the dog right in front of your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes! Oh shit. What? Oh my goodness. You're saying we missed out on this much materials in the first game? Look, look how much we got. Good boy. I, I bet you all were cracking up. I can see. I know you all out there were seeing this and like right. And I just was looking. Didn't even see the dog. Ah! Oh, I love it. Too good. Okay, moving on.
did Dina take so long to take that shot? Another change I love so far is that the knife the knife doesn't break, right? That that's a great change. The knife doesn't actually break this time. They don't care about flashlights, they can't see. Fuckers make my skin crawl. Let's make sure the rest of the building's cleared out. And then get the fuck out of here. Speak in my language. I'm just gonna see if there's any loot in here. Seems like a place where you, you would find stuff, but it does seem like it's been heavily looted. I think that's everything. From the knees. I'll make you a present. I'll take a present. Yes. Here. Thanks. Careful with that. I'm a pro. Dino, you legend. Think what I'm thinking. What do you think? Get the first. See. I trust Dina. Runners first. I re I get that, but There we go. The left. Thank you. Dina? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. 
Did they hear it? They are sure acting like they heard something. in there Aided them right into it. Line them up. And he's still moving. Uh, nope. I love, what? love this game. I'm impressed with us. Yeah. Man, the guys are not going to believe our numbers. Okay. Let's go to the next lookout and take a fucking break. We are. Agreed. And another thing I, I, you know, I love the gameplay mechanics, just how everything plays. But I love that it gives you the choice to play the way you want to. Like, it doesn't tell you how to play the game. If you want to go stealth, you can go stealth. If you want to do a combination, like what we just did there, lure them into a room and then just drill them, you can play the way you want to. And it's it's just, I love games that give you the full choice. Yeah, it seems like at times it wants you to play fully stealth because it fits better and it's easier. But even in those moments, you can still break out of it. At least you could in the first game. What a great start to this video game. Wait. Oh. Nice. You did need that big time. So how many shots did I use there? Three or two? I used three. We need to find three more. We found one. I think that's all we've got here. Oh, well, let's craft something. I didn't start doing that till like the end of the last game. That drove some of you all crazy. I know it did. Here's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna hurl me up through that hole in the roof. <laughs> okay. Wait. <gasps> now I'm strong, but I can't. Lift you up there? What are you talking about? <laughs> what did she say?
Hey, the cable. Help me out. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. Want me to try? Oh, I got it. I can do this. Missing. Here. The right anchor. <laughs> I don't even know. The, oh, what about over top? Here? Get over it. Fuck yeah. Aha. Okay, that's good. Here I go. Introducing another new mechanic. Over here. The storm's really picked up. How far are we from the lookout? It's just past the next town. Following you. All right. So I think this is actually a great place to start. Stop part one. A lot happened. What an incredible start to this video game. Wow. The storm is really coming down. So we, the, it's interesting. So we played the part with Abby and then it just switched off and it didn't really explain much. I'm sure it's going to explain something soon. It seems like we might be making our way to the same exact spot. Uh, not, not for sure on that yet, uh, but what an epic game. The changes that they made in the mechanics, amazing. Like adding the dodge. Making sure the ni knife doesn't break all the time. Like, this is a phenomenal start already. I can already tell that I am going to love this video game just as much as the first one and likely probably a little bit more depending on where the story goes. But thank you all for being a part of this series. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I know part one was a little bit long, but I, th I feel like... It really wasn't a stopping point until now, and that's how I like to do my playthrough series here on Gamer Ability 2. Drop a like if you got some enjoyment. It really helps. Subscribe for more, and I will link the full playlist down in the description so you can check for more episodes. When I post episodes in this series, it will usually be around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, of course, you're going to see this Part 1 video on January 19th, 2024, that evening. I'm hoping to get Part 2 out on January 20th, 20th, the next day, and then hoping to get part three out on the Monday. Uh, if I can get it out on Sunday, I will, uh, but I want to get those first three or four parts because I know you all will be hooked on this series and you're going to want to watch it over the weekend and you're not going to want to wait on a cliffhanger like we're leaving right now. Uh, so that's the plan right now. It is subject to change. I will try to post as often as I can. You all are all legends, though. I greatly appreciate all the support you all gave on The Last of Us Part 1. It was one of the most watched playthroughs I've done here on Gamer Ability 2. So this is my second channel. If you want even more content from me, check out my main channel, Gamer Ability. But thank you for all the support on that Part 1 series and for being here at Part 2. It seemed like many of you all liked to watch somebody experience this game for the first time knowing nothing about it. And that was so cool to see in all of your all's comments. Now, I will be looking at all your comments. They will be a little bit delayed because I don't want any spoilers. Uh, so in order to not get spoilers, I will look at your comments, but it will likely be a little bit later than when you post them when the video goes live. So maybe a couple days, a couple weeks, we'll see how it goes. But I don't want to have any spoilers for this game. I want to continue to play it just like part one where I knew nothing about it and everything took me by surprise. 
But what a game. Part one, just phenomenal. First impressions are just out of this world. Graphics, gameplay, the mechanics, the way they've improved it. And let me tell you, playing as Abby was awesome. So please hope that she's not a bad girl. Please hope she's actually good. Uh, hopefully she's not bad uh, because she was a beast. <laughs> But I will see you all in part two. This is going to be an epic series. Thank you all for being a part of it. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.